Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Friday, August the 12th, and here are today's top headlines. We are following breaking news in Paris, where a gas leak has forced evacuations in the surrounding communities. We're live with the latest. And the family of actress Anne Hage says she is not expected to survive after a fiery crash in Mar Vista last week. We'll have the latest on her condition. Plus, more flash flooding and heavy rain wreaking havoc at some casinos in Las Vegas. The early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Well, good morning to you and happy Friday. We made it. I'm Chris Schaub. I'm Megan Henderson. Appreciate you joining us. We will uh, check the roads with Lynette and yes. for uh, Ginger today coming up shortly. First, let's talk weather with Henry. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. Lynette, great to see you as Thank well. You. And welcome back from vacation. Thank yeah, you. I know you were here yesterday, but we didn't I'm get still to trying to get welcomed back. There you go. Well, well, welcome. <laughs> you look tan, you look gorgeous. You're like, oh, I've got no problem. You yeah. think? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's uh, the always that problem on Saturday morning. Hey, now. <laughs> we'll leave them out of this hey right now. now. I'm joking. Oh, Henry. <laughs> all Henry. Now. Well, that is all Henry. That was all Henry. Oh, that's all right. It's 401. There's like eight of us watching, and we're all really good that's friends. Fine. And the secret save right here. Yeah, these are our besties. These are our best friends, yeah. So it's a secret save here. And we're just joking. So let's talk about our wake up weather. We know we're going to be on the warm side. We have been very warm over the past couple of days. Now, uh, we are above the average. We're going to continue to see that right through the weekend. Now, we got a little pause from the thunderstorms. There were a couple that built uh, that built up over our local mountains and some of the deserts, but we'll see a little bit more widespread activity as we head through the weekend near 90 degrees downtown 103 in the San Fernando Valley and most of inland Orange County, at least up against the foothills near 100. Same for the IE, same for the high desert. So we're in the midst of a very hot run, starting to see the winds pick up in some spots. I don't like that. We'll talk about that and the chance of thunderstorms. Your weekend forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Lynette, we'll send it back over to you. All right, Henry, we actually do have something really serious to tell commuters about. It's really important. I want to get right to it to let you know about the situation. This is happening. On, you can see this through our Caltrans camera, uh, and it's really going to create quite, quite a mess for you. This is the 215 freeway. This is at Van Buren Boulevard in Paris. The CHP has had to close both directions of the 215. It's closed due to a hazard spill nearby that is posing a threat to commuters uh, and all the commutes there in that area because it's just a real situation here. When you close both sides of the freeway, uh, it's going to cause some problems. Now, this closure is in place from Cactus Avenue all the way to Van Buren Boulevard for an unknown duration. Again, this is happening in Paris on the 215 freeway. And then we're going to take you over to the 210 West at the 118. There's a two-car crash there that is blocking the slow lane. I uh, just let you know what's happening there at 4 a.m. on a beautiful Friday morning. I'll send it back to you guys. Now to breaking news, a chemical spill in Paris has sparked an evacuation of nearby neighborhoods. It happened just south of March Air Base on a railroad track along the 215 freeway. Chemicals began to leak from a rail car about 8 o'clock last night. Officials say the chemicals are hazardous to breathe, but the rail car is also starting to overheat and could explode. It's unclear what caused the spill. The evacuation order covers nearby industrial complexes, but families living on Markham Street near Harville Avenue should leave the area immediately as well. A care center for evacuees has been set up at Pinacate Middle School off A Street. KTLA 5's Carlos Herrera is going to be live in a little bit. He's on the way there now. Once he establishes everything, we're going to go ahead and get a live report from him. Actress Anne Hayes is in extremely critical condition a week after she crashed her car into a Mar Vista home sparking a large fire. Hayes is in a coma and sustained severe burns. Her representatives say she suffered life-threatening injuries and is not expected to survive. Mary Beth McDade has more. 